This is a very nicely put together book. Uh, you can see that it's uh, nicely coloured as well, which the no starch books uh, don't usually have uh, this much colour and, and these number of illustrations inside um, in colour. Uh, so you can see uh, right from the start that it's aimed at children. Um, I like this book very much. Um, teach your kids to code. I mean, yes, you should be teaching your kids to code. That's the subject probably of another video. But if in any doubt at all, um, do teach your kids to code if you can. Let's have a look at the contents then. Um, introduction, what is coding and why is it good for your kids? Python basics, getting to know your environment. Turtle graphics, uh, drawing with Python. Uh, what do we have next? Numbers, variables, um, Python does the math. Uh, loops are fun, etc., etc. Conditions, random fun and games uh, and challenges, functions, timers, animation, uh, user interaction, uh, game programming, uh, and then um, various ways of um, setting up Python on your machine. So what I like about this is, well, to begin with, it tells you why you should be uh, teaching your kids to, kids to code, uh, and then it talks you through how to install Python onto your machine. So really, if you don't know anything about uh, getting going with Python, this book will show you how. Um, and then what it does, first of all, is before teaching you anything about variables or loops or uh, any anything like that, it, it just takes you through using Turtle a, a way of drawing. So you can get sort of instant feedback from uh, from the from using Python. So you know you don't have to write that very very many lines of code to uh, start getting some output that looks interesting. Uh, and I think it's a good idea that they did that because then in chapter two, after they've done these various different drawings with colours and different shapes, uh, and there, look, you you really get something that looks um, very rewarding. Um, you move on to numbers and variables, um, uh, showing you how you know you can do maths in Python. You know, Python really is a calculator, but also teaching you about variables. Um, and uh, and then you know as we move on. Uh, the style of the book remains the same. And like uh, with a lot of um, no starch um, books, what I like about them is that they take you through what it's doing. So here we have a look at loops and it's modifying the loops. And when we get a snippet of code, we get these numbers here and then everything in the code is explained um, number by number in the text. So you're never left thinking, oh, I wonder what this line does, or, or why have they done that? Which sometimes with uh, books on um, coding uh, and programming, you do get that. And, you know, it gradually builds up the complexity um, and to start, you know, taking user input. But at all times, it's explaining in great detail what it's doing and why. Um, and then there are little challenges at the end of each chapter. Um, and then we look at, you know, conditions uh, and, uh, you know, these are if statements. And then we start to, you know, they start to show you how to program games. So there's a guessing game there. They also do at some point uh, rock, paper, scissors. Um, and then as we get through to further through, we get they start using Pie Game to to really, you know, make some interesting and rewarding um, games at the end of the book. Um, so should you be teaching your kids to code? Absolutely, you should. Um, and if you want to teach your kids to code, um, you know, this would be a good place to start, especially if you're not, um, a, you know, a, an experienced coder yourself. You'll learn a lot about coding, too. Um, so, yes, I would definitely recommend this. It's another very good book from No Starch Press. Um, and uh, that is it for now. If you've enjoyed watching this, please do subscribe to the channel um, and like the video. And I will see you next time.